India has the largest livestock population in the world accounting for 50% of buffaloes and 16% of goats. The total livestock population as per 20th livestock census is 535.78 million. The total bovine, sheep and goat population is 302.79 million. 74.2 million and 148.8 million respectively. The total poultry population comprising of both commercial poultry and domestic fowls is 851.81 million. India produced 209.96 million tons of milk, 8.8 .8 million tons of meat and 122.11 billion eggs during 2020-21. The meat production industry is a vital part of the Indian agricultural setup. India ranks fifth in the world in terms of meat production volume and is the largest producer of buffalo meat in the world. India is responsible for 3% of the total meat production in the world. Major portion of meat from sheep, goat, pig and poultry is primarily used for domestic consumption. In India, 95% of the meat is consumed in the form of fresh meat and only 5% is converted into processed products. The livestock meat supplies omega-3 fatty acid and conjugated linoleic acid besides vitamins. Meat-eating habits of the consumers are slowly changing from fresh to frozen and to processed meat and meat products. Demand for quality meat and meat products are increasing due to growing awareness about nutritional and sensory characteristics of such meat products. There is a huge gap in demand and supply of meat and meat products in India. The average per capita consumption of meat and eggs in India is around 5.5 kgs and 79 eggs per annum. The National Institute of Nutrition has recommended 11 kgs of meat and 180 eggs per capita consumption for our country. The total meat processing capacity in India is over 2 metric tons per year if primary processing is considered. Further processing and value addition of meat in India remains less than 2% with the exception of poultry. where about 7.2% of meat undergoes further processing. Meat processing generally includes modification of a fresh meat into desirable and palatable form along with preservation and packaging techniques. The scenario of meat processing is changing rapidly with entries of top players like Venkateshwara Hatcheries, Goldrich Agrovet, Suguna Foods, SKM Animal Feeds and Foods, Al Kabir, Alana Sons Limited, etc. The Alana Group is acknowledged as the global leader in the manufacture and export of frozen and chilled halal meat. The meat processed in India is lean, nutritious and contains less calories, less cholesterol, more proteins, minerals and vitamins. There are a number of small poultry dressing plants in the country in addition to modernized integrated poultry processing plants producing dressed chicken, chicken cut parts and other chicken products. 
meat is processed for the following reasons variety to provide greater choice to the consumers in different forms and make them consume more meat preservation meat is preserved to prevent or delay microbial spoilage and to minimize weight loss and change in texture or taste value addition to add value to a produce for ready acceptance convenience to provide ready to cook products or products that require minimal processing by the consumer principles of meat processing primary factors that are to be considered in processing of meat are moisture the natural moisture content of the lean meat should be retained to a consistent optimum extent during the manufacturing fat the natural fat content of the meat and any extra fat which the product is designed to incorporate should similarly be retained to a maximum extent classification of meat processing meat processing is classified based on the degree of processing as primary processing and secondary processing primary meat processing involves cutting cleaning packaging storage and refrigeration of raw meat to ensure that they are organoleptically acceptable and safe ensuring food safety before the meat is consumed these minimally processed meats retain the original properties namely nutrition physical sensory and chemical properties secondary meat processing involves converting raw meat into ready to cook or ready to eat forms examples of meat products that have undergone secondary processing include cured meat products dried meat products canned meat products comminuted meat products fermented meat products enrobed meat products tandoor or barbecued or grilled meat products value addition value added products are processed foods in which a raw commodity or material is transformed into a processed product through use of materials labor and technology to enhance market value value addition in case of meat involves modification or enhancement of the less valuable cuts of meat by comminution and blending it together with edible trimmings fat and connective tissue by appropriate treatments so as to make the flavor taste color and texture more acceptable the specialized equipments employed are meat grinder or mincer bowl cutter or chopper sausage filling machine brine injector ice flaker frozen meat cutter smoke houses vacuum packaging machine etc ham and bacon are classic examples of cured meat products biltong chalk jerky pemmican are good examples of dried meat products luncheon meat corned beef are popular canned meats sausages nuggets patties meat balls meat loaves are excellent examples of comminuted meat products pepperoni salami turinga chorizos and braunschweiger are common fermented meat products cutlets and chicken 65 are well known examples of enrobed meat products tandoori chicken chicken tikka are famous tandoor meat products the new generation entrepreneurs 
who are into meat processing have a lot of processing models to choose from depending upon the location, market size, funding status, etc. Meat processing business requires proper planning, acquiring licenses and permits. The different types of meat processing plants are chicken processing, sheep and goat processing, buffalo processing and pig processing plants. Veterinary entrepreneurs can dabble at various strata of meat processing and a few processing models are integrated slaughterhouses. This may involve in primary, secondary and tertiary processing of meat that is slaughter and dress cattle, sheep, goats hygienically in their premises, subsequently fabricate, debone, refrigerate and pack them and produce processed meat products such as minced meat, sausages, patties, nuggets, etc. A rendering plant may also be established for converting the waste into a useful product. Branding their products will be a prerequisite for such players. Retail meat outlets with primary processing. In case of chicken, they may slaughter and dress them hygienically in their premises, further fabricate them and market them as different cuts. They shall differentially price the cuts based on their utility or they may debone them and sell deboned breast, legs, drumstick, thighs and separately market to catering institutions. Retail meat outlets with secondary processing. The entrepreneurs may indulge in all the activities undertaken by retail meat outlets with primary processing and, in addition, also undertake further processing of the deboned meat and produce processed meat products such as minced meat, sausages, patties, nuggets, etc. Ready to eat meat products outlet. They may purchase meat products such as minced meat, sausages, patties, nuggets and suitably cook them and market it directly through a chain of stores if required. They may consider marketing Chicken 65 soup for which they may have to source suitable ingredients. Food safety and consumer protection is very important and hence hygienic standards like good hygienic practices and hazard analysis critical control point measures need to be adopted. Changing consumption patterns due to urbanization, higher incomes, urban working culture and fast-paced lifestyles of young Indians have paved way for increased meat consumption. Further, increasing penetration of organized food retail outlets offering a wide range of options and diverse products to consumers have opened up opportunities. Hence, there exists enormous potential for budding veterinarians and new generation entrepreneurs in India to venture into meat processing industry to further their career.